Central Otago Organic Wine Growers is a project that got underway around 2008 to provide skills to those interested in converting to organic or biodynamic systems. It's the first program in the country to be initiated by growers. John Callahan, project manager at Burn Cottage Vineyard, is the project's administrator. Central Otago Wine Growers Association decided to apply for a grant to ONS, which we received and we got, which was brilliant, which in turn hired me as the project administrator. And my job was to facilitate seminars and workshops, um, bring in experienced people and talk about the practicalities of um, organic conversion and organic growing. The reaction to the program has been extremely well received, but there are always detractors there. And to me, that is something that is great. We always need people testing us and making us answer the questions that they want answered. The focus of the Central Otago Organic Wine Growers is to talk about the farm itself or the vineyard itself and promoting a healthier farm, a healthier vineyard and a healthier system. And in turn, we hope that will spread right through the community. It's really hard to know why people want to go organically. Really, you have to talk to every single person. There is a mixture of people doing it for a marketing presence and there is a mixture of people doing it for philosophy. It's a lifestyle choice as well. The people out there that are doing it for a marketing, they're doing a great job as well. Um, they're setting it for a specific market. But again, they're also wanting to get quality in their wine and promote a better product. We had 25 vineyards join the Central Otago Organic Wine Growers group. Of those 25, there is 12 practicing organic growing. Of those 12, there is five that are going through certification process at the moment. Originally there was only five uh, vineyards in Central Otago that were practicing or going through a conversion phase. We've got doubled, we've doubled that number up to 12. Um, next year I think it will be up to 20. You know, like I was saying, we had some of those collapse vines that just we weren't too sure about. Yeah, yeah, everyone true. wants to learn, everyone wants to extend their knowledge base. And maybe they're not even telling anyone that they're going organically, or maybe they still want to be conventional under their own hat. But um, I think like you'll find when you talk to more growers, it's about bringing in little bits of other systems into your own system and making it work for your site. We're not exclusive, we want to include everyone and we want to help everyone be the best farmers, the best um, grape growers they can. The way the system was set up at Burn Cottage was a progression, so we only planted 10,000 vines the first year and we all learned how to plant vines and I learned how to put the posts in properly and the spacings and then the next year we planted another 30,000. I was able to learn on site um, viticulture and with the um, consultants we've had brought in to Burn Cottage who are of extremely high standards, um, my learning and experience has just skyrocketed. The vineyard specifically was always going to be biodynamic from inception and that was the main key to it. Biodynamics was extremely hard to accept first up. Very spiritual, very cosmic I found. I'm a bit of a practical person so I found by getting out there and doing biodynamics that was the key. I have read the Steiner books more than once, more than twice, and I couldn't really understand them. But when I come out and work and then go back and read the book, it makes a lot more sense to me. With weeding, we first started off the first three years by using grubbers, and each morning, three and a half hours, we'd be out here grubbing away underneath the vine and clearing out the weeds. After three years, we invested in a born undervine weeder which came in and had a blade that would cut underneath the weeds and we found that to be extremely beneficial. It didn't take away all of the hand weeding but it's taken away let's say 80% of it. For powdery mildew we still use sulphur um, and that's right through all the organic systems. Sulphur is a, um, a, a product that you're allowed to use under Biogrow or Demeter. Um, you cannot get away from sulphur unfortunately. Um, but when it comes to pests and um, we kind of use chickens as well, was one thing we've got. We've got chickens roaming around, they can scrape underneath the ground to get rid of slugs. But we still have lots of problems. Garlic sprays, chilli sprays, you can also spray on the plants to stop the um, bugs from getting on them and chewing away at them. 
Fertilisers, our compost is one of the big ones that we put on, especially now that we're in the harvest. We're taking product off the land, we have to actually put nitrogen and put goodness back into the soil. So we're trying to make a lot of compost. It is very labour intensive. A lot more thought goes into your working day, what is needed. So therefore, the people that are involved in Burn Cottage really have embraced biodynamics and organics and the system itself. We are battling against Mother Nature. Some days Mother Nature will win, or some seasons Mother Nature will win. And we just have to take it as it comes. But the attitude is important, to always have a positive attitude and to understand that we are doing something extremely amazing and we are doing it right. For this vineyard and one other, we are in what's called CO2. So the next vintage we make, which will be 2010, we'll make a fully certified wine. Um, so it's a three year process. So you know, we started late 2006. The whole philosophy was to look after the land, you know, to use resources as wisely or as best we can. So water is a big, big resource that you know all crop farmers have in mind. Mount Edward wanted me to minimise the amount that I was putting on. So over a three year period since I've started, I've just been quietly backing the water off and off and off so that we're using, in comparison to say a standard conventional farm, almost nothing. And our soils and the vine age allow us to do that. On younger vines I have here, I water more often because their roots aren't as established. But on these older vines here, uh, we're, we're putting on very little, you know, sort of two or three litres of, of water a week at the hottest part of the year. Well, prior to working Mount Edward, I worked on a conventional farm or vineyard and the general manager and winemaker, Duncan Forsyth, and I caught up. I was doing a little bit of consulting work for him and he said, well, hey, come on board, we want to go organic, is this where you want to go? And I said, sure, you know, I've had enough of conventional farming, I preferred organics. And then I said, well, let's go do the whole shebang, let's become certified and then we've got, you know, something that we've got a standard behind us, you know, to show where we're going and what we're doing and um, then we can deal with it in the wine as well. So your barrel pruner is going to come through, what height is it going to come Well, through? it depends, do you want to do cane pruning or do you want to do um, spur prune? No, I think well, cane pruning is what, what right we're right. always on about. Well, cane prune, I'd run 500 down. With us becoming certified as a contractor, a service provider for the organics in central Otago, it took a lot of work, a lot of paperwork, a lot of time, trying to sort stuff out. Um, and then it sort of just worked itself into place and we're there now, and it's all go. Yeah. Well, it runs through about five k's an hour. Yeah, it doesn't pull it out? It just, no. it just, 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 just cuts, cuts it into 75 mils, and drops yeah. it on the ground, straight below. Right. Yeah. Financially, I've put a fair bit of money into it, but it's been done for a reason to help out, and it's just another part of my business. So it's going to take a while to pay it off, but it's one of those things that you do to sort of make your business. And it's, you know, you're doing it for the for the community to help them out with the organics. I think when people look over their fence and see how great the organic and the sustainable vineyards are doing, they're going to have to change because it, it'll be a necessity. This programme was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.